Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 11th of November 2025. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life. I'm off out to work today so this is an early morning game for me and then I shall be back in the evening when I come home uh, and play a second game. But there'll be quite a long delay before the New York Times is out today for me, Sudoku days. Uh, what's going on in the world? I see that... Um, Trump is has Trump has pardoned his fellow co-conspirators in the coup in the attempted coup. Uh, that means Rudy Giuliani, Mark Meadows, Boris Epstein, the lawyer, and uh, others uh, who were in, uh, the, the the other lawyers who were involved in trying to fix it for him. Um, you remember that crew, John Eastman, etc. Uh, this is just so disgusting and it means that there is no law that Trump is willing to uh, not willing to break I should say uh, because of course he's been given the option by the Supreme Court which was the worst decision probably the worst thing they've ever done is giving him carte blanche to do whatever he likes that's got to be the worst Supreme Court decision possibly ever probably ever um, and there have been a lot of bad ones. <laughs> uh, but here's something. Here's an idea for the Democrats. Why don't you... You need something radical to inspire people and get people on board. Why don't you commit to removing the power of presidential pardons like this? Now, of course, the problem for them is that, you know, if they get power, they might be likely to want to do such a thing again. I mean, we saw uh, how Biden pardoned his own son uh, preemptively I think um, but you know um, this kind of behavior uh, is just clearly against what people who are who respect laws are in favor of and uh, it should never happen and so why not be radical and try I mean America is screwed let's face it I mean its current political system is awful absolutely awful and uh, so much of it was based on trust um, but it's time for the Democrats to uh, in in America to uh, in, you know come up with some radical policies that might inspire people to actually go out and vote for them. So here's what they should do: is they should say that they will um, put into put into effect a law that says presidents are not immune from prosecution; that they can be prosecuted even while they are still president, because that. Remember that Office of Legal Counsel opinion, which has stood for years, which was against Sp uh, Spiro Agnew, if my memory serves me correctly, you know, to say that presidents can't be prosecuted while they're still in power. This is nonsense. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, somehow or another, they need to divorce the, the, uh, the, uh, um, the Department of Justice from the presidency, from the executive arm. It needs to be independent, entirely independent. Uh, they need to remove that, not allow a president to appoint uh, a, a, an attorney general who will do his bidding, as we've seen with Bundy and Bill Barr previously. And, uh, you know, some could argue um, with uh, Obama, I think it was Eric Holder, wasn't it, if my memory serves me correctly, you know, the, but whoever, uh, this should be non-political. There's that. And uh, they should remove the power of presidential par pardons uh, being absolute. There, ha there could be some uh, possibility that president can suggest names, but they can't be the arbiter of whether or not a person can be released. No, maybe there can be a committee. A president could possibly suggest names, but that's all. No more than that. And a committee, an independent committee, fiercely independent committee, could say whether or not uh, that should be. Uh, be the case uh, in the UK the Labour Party could talk about political reforms in terms of um, proportional representation I mean it's a much more democratic system of course they won't do it because it benefits themselves you know when they benefit their when they when they are beneficiary to a policy that they know is anti-democratic and bad they will continue to use it because they benefit from it but you know uh, that's something else that should be happening 
So there we are. I've put the world to rights before I even go out to work this morning. <laughs> All from a, an office chair behind a computer screen about to play a quick game of Sudoku. I say a quick game because it is the Guardian's medium level puzzle, which always turns out to be, or nearly always turns out to be a very easy game. So we'll get on with it, shall we? Uh, and uh, finish this in a few minutes, I suspect. We've got eights blocking across here. That's going to give us an eight in this square. Seven blocking across here. That's going to give us a seven there. And the missing numbers here are what? One, two, nine. Is that right? Uh, so we've got one blocking across here. One blocking down here. One blocking up there. There's a one. Uh, we've got two, oh, hang on, anything else going on with these ones first of all, have a quick scour around, no, okay, the twos then are somewhere there, which gives twos down there, okay, and the nine being in one of those two squares will give us a pair of nines there, nines up there, nines there, okay, so, We'll have to look elsewhere then. In fact, let's just go around and look at the uh, numbers in turn, I think. Although I kind of did this already. One and two, didn't I? So let's start with three. I should really start with three. Do we have threes blocking across here and down here and down there? Get a pair of fours down here. Five blocking up here, down there, there's a five. Five up here, across there. Fives to the bottom, that was the easy number to begin with, I guess. There's our five. Five this way, that way, there's a five. Five up here, five blocking across there, five blocking across there, there's a five. And is there just one more to get? I think there could be just one more. One or two more anyway, not many. Yeah, that was the last one. Okay, we'll just keep moving along. We'll go in order as we were. That's the only six on the board, so not much to see there. How about sevens? Eight down here, down there, eight blocking across there. The birds are making a lot of noise this morning. It's quite nice to hear that because I live in a concrete jungle. This is Bangkok is such a, a lacking greenery place, but it's there are a few trees around the gardens here, and the birds nest and whistle, sing in the mornings, which is quite nice. Three's block like this. Seven blocks across here like this. nine blocks this square so in that row that's our nine here's our one for the end of the row threes are about to decease to be deceased He's blocking down here, three across there. This is the last one, I guess. Yep. Four blocks down there. There's a four. Five, 
I'm trying not to go too quickly because it will make the video too short for the YouTube algorithm. Four and two block down there. That means that's a pair of four and two which makes the missing numbers here 6 and 7. Can we say which is which? Surprisingly we can't, but anyway we've got the 7 blocking up there and 7 blocking up there and 7 across there, so we can say that that's a 7. 7 across here and 7 across there. And the sevens blocking down there, and now we know this can't be a 7. So that's our 7, that's our 6. One of our missing digits here is a 2, so this can't be a 2. That must be a 2, this must be a 6. And what's left to be done? Not a lot more really. Let's click on the numbers again. 3 and 5 are our completed digits at the moment. Oh, hang on. There's one empty square there. Let's put an 8 in there first before we do anything else. And then let's say 8 blocking across and 8 up here. It'll give us the final digit 8. And now there's just one empty square there. Is that a 6? No, it's not a 6. Is it? No, it's not that either. Is it a 9? I think it is. 9. And then 9 blocking up here gives us 9 in that square. And the last number to go there is another 6. Two blocks this square here, so in this column there's our 2. This must be a 4. That's a 4 there. nine blocks no it's not nine we have <laughs> it was nine and what is that six and oh two sorry i thought it was nine and six two all right let's click on the numbers again two blocks down here but we need a two in this row so that's the two we need a one to finish the row one blocks up here that gives us a one in that square the missing number here six six blocks across there's a six that's a two as I mentioned a moment ago two blocks across here and across there there's a two and the last number to place in this row can't find it no Six. Seem to have had an excess of sixes. Six is blocking down there. There's another one. That's not still not the end of them. Ah, oh, there's one more to get over here. Finally, we get rid of sixes. We seem to have had a lot of sixes. Felt like it. Of course, there weren't any more than any other digit, but sometimes it f just feels like that, which is why we must never trust our feelings. Always rely on science and data. Fours block up here. There's a four. two blocks down there that gives us a two in that square and this will be a seven all right we just need one two and nine let's click on a one we've got one blocking up here there's a one and one down here and one up there gives us the final digit one now we just need two and nine we've got a two here so that must be a nine nine blocks down there there's the nine and this will be a two and that's the end of the game as i said uh, I knew it would be a very easy game because it always is on a Tuesday. They call it a medium, but it's really an easy level puzzle. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you maybe this evening uh, if, I'm, if I have the energy to play a game. Take care. Bye-bye.